Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY HD News and the Star Gazette. Intense rain damaged homes in our area. This morning, one West Elmira family is dealing with more than just water. Their house is backed up with sewage. And we aren't talking about a light coating here. We're talking about a six inches. The home on Ferndale Drive was backed up with a neighborhood's worth of feces, toilet paper, even other raw sewage. This morning, residents are left to pick up the pieces after ceilings collapsed, pipes burst, and blown electrical fuses. The family says almost everything inside the house is destroyed. A sewage blockage uphill from the home is believed to be the cause of that flooding. The toilets were all coming off. There was feces sitting on top of the toilets, and it's from the whole entire neighborhood. We don't even know whose feces it was. <laughs> All right, tough morning for them. The county and insurance companies say the family is liable for that damage. The torrential rain flooded homes and one of our most popular parks. Parts of Eldridge Park are flooded, but good news, the park is set to reopen this evening. Heavy rainfall caused the cafe and museum at the park to flood. The lake overflowed more than six inches. Six seems to be the common trend. The park manager says they didn't lose expensive equipment, but they did lose thousands in inventory. The 22-year-old Hornell man arrested in an undercover sex abuse investigation is due in court today. And this morning we have a picture of Anthony Keeler. He's waking up behind bars for attempted rape, child endangerment, and sexual abuse charges. Keeler thought he was texting a 12-year-old for sex in the village of Canastillo, but when he showed up to meet her at the Rotary Club, he was arrested by an undercover investigator from the Steuben County Sheriff's Office. Keeler is also charged with child abuse in an earlier incident. New this morning, former Syracuse assistant basketball coach Bernie Fine is dropping his defamation lawsuit against ESPN. That's according to a statement from his lawyers. Fine sued over broadcasts aired by ESPN with claims by two former ball boys that Fine molested them more than two decades ago. Fine was fired in November 2011, just days after those broadcasts. And don't let those whimsical cable cars, even the rainbow-colored Victorian homes, fool you. San Francisco is one snobby city, at least. That's according to the consensus of Travel and Leisure Magazine's readers, who were asked to rank 35 major U.S. metropolitan areas on their snobbishness. San Francisco was voted the city that holds its nose highest in the sky, followed by New York City. And this is a shock for me, at least. The city of Boston came in third place. Now, both John and I are from Mass, and a... Uh, John, what do you have to say about Boston being the snobbiest city? I'm perplexed. I really don't believe that. That's unbelievable. We're so, you know, we're Boston. I don't know about that. Anyways, let's get to your weather story. That's more important. Some more thunder showers on the way today, and the steam heat continues. But the chances for rain starting to decrease. We're only at about 40% chances for the rest of the week, and then 30% chances for your weekend. This is how it looks on Future Track. The morning's dry, but we'll start to see those pop-up showers and thunder showers as we go into the afternoon. We're going to start to clear it out though. I know we have some fireworks tonight, tomorrow night, and actually continuing into the weekend. So the night should be pretty dry. The grass will be wet from any kind of rain that we see during the day, but at least the fireworks should be getting off. Uh, just bring a chair and not a blanket. Looking at the seven day forecast, well, the shower chances continue. It's only 30% chances though over the weekend and it stays pretty steamy. So heading to the lakes, a great idea. That's the forecast. Here's Laura. All right, thanks so much, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY HD News at 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a wonderful day.